I realized I want to be an authentic YouTuber and not chase sensationalism. Right now, there's a challenge for YouTube creators called Launchpad by CreatorDAO, and they're giving away $10,000 to three winners who improve the most over the next four weeks. I was going to do the challenge, and challenge number one is to do viral remixing, where you take viral content and copy 90% of it while remixing with your original 10%. I was brainstorming what I could do for this challenge, and then I realized I don't really like or watch viral content that much. I think there's something to be said about making something that you like instead of making something that will go viral. For some people, there's overlap between these two things, but I think a lot of times there isn't. I just watched a video by Jay Alto and he was saying that he's craving authentic videos instead of viral videos that left him feeling empty. There were more YouTubers than ever, there were more videos than ever, the scale and quality of the videos was better than ever. But for me, a lot of it, because of this crazy growth, felt quite soulless. The videos after a while felt quite empty, quite repetitive. But the last few months, I've noticed a shift, a shift in the style of content I'm watching and the style of content that is getting recommended to me. The content is more real. It's more authentic. And the best way for me to explain this is, is to use an example. For any of those that aren't familiar with Sam Sulek, he is he's an enormous dude. He's a bodybuilder. And he uploads these daily videos where like 30, 40 minute videos where he drives to the gym and he talks about what he's going to do in the gym. He gets to the gym and does what he spoke about and then drives back from the gym and discusses how it all went. There's no fancy editing. There's no fancy thumbnails. There's barely any cuts. And I love it. It's great. It's the, the realness of it. The authenticity of it is so refreshing uh, that I've basically... He's all I've been watching over the last few weeks, few months, and I'm definitely not the only one. He's seen this crazy growth over the last few months, and his views are insane for what on paper don't look like videos that are that optimized. That inspired me to start my daily vlogs. I started three days ago, Tuesday, October 24th, 2023. I'm not a huge fan of shorts, but it's so easy to shoot, edit, and post straight from my phone, so there's little barrier for posting it's easy to churn them out. Now I'm wondering what I should do for my long videos. I'm thinking about recording my full workouts a la Sam Sulek. I'm also thinking about streaming my stream of consciousness exercises and then cutting them down to a smaller chunk and posting that. I'm still brainstorming and I haven't decided yet. I'm still in the experimental stage. But when I look at what kind of content I'm making, I actually enjoy making these relationship-based videos more than idea-based videos, which usually get me more views. So let's see, I'm trying different things for now. In regards to that challenge, Launchpad by Creator Dow, I'm not sure I'm gonna do it anymore. I think I'll just keep experimenting on my own for now.